Hey guys, it's Nat from Arrow Fishing. I am heading out to Paul's Verde's round two this time. I want to go back and get that calico bass that I lost. I hooked up to a fat calico bass last time and I lost it, so I'm coming back for you. Uh, I will be fishing for rockfish though first in the morning because I found a spot on Google Earth. I've never fished there before, so I just want to check it out. Do a little bit of rockfish, and if I don't catch any, I'm going to head back to the the kelp forest and just troll for calico bass. So, hopefully I get a big one for you guys. I'll see you guys on the water. Peace! Alright guys, we made it here on the dock. I'm going to rig up my lines. I'm going to put on two trolling lines. So let's rig this up real quick. actually pretty nice out. I didn't think the sun was going to be out today. But it is. So it's like partly cloudy and partly sunny. Alright, I just rigged up my setup here. This is the first one. This is the Mega Bass. Uh, Deep X 300. It's a kind of like a greenish color. And I have my Lucky Craft. So I'm gonna be trolling these two out when I hit the, the kelp. But I'm gonna go for rockfish first, so let's head out. on Google Earth and there's actually marks here. It's a little choppy today, a lot choppier than last time. And I'm gonna throw down a squid. I wanna catch big rockfish, so I'm gonna put on a fat bait. Frozen. Here today. A lot sharper than last time. I'm gonna hook up a 
Well, this is a 12 ounce. 12 ounce because we are in deep waters. And I'm gonna hook on a fat squid. I wait for it to thaw out. I'm just gonna test out the shrimp and let's see if I get bit on a squid. I'm pretty sure I'll catch a little rockfish, but once this shrimp or the squid thaws, I will move over to the squid. Alright, 48 feet of water. thing about fishing in 260 feet of water Yeah, this is the fighter. Ooh, this is the white fish. Oh, this is the fighter. Yo, look at this. Yeah, this is a good one. This is actually really good eating. I love eating these. Yeah. This is gonna fall hard. I knew it was on rockfish. All right, let's keep them. Hold on, dude. Oh, God. Oh. Come here. Let's actually catch a couple of these before I go. These actually fight really well, and they taste really good. Catch a couple more of those.
Calico. Damn, got my line all jacked up though. Little baby calico. Alright, let's let him go. Max, let's go. Little guy. Oh, it's a uh, it's a bonita. Well, my GoPro turned off and I caught myself a monster. <laughs> All right, well guys, didn't get much action today. I was chilling for like at least an hour and a half. Wasn't getting much, definitely not like last time. The, the water the water was like super choppy today, so kind of kind of rough. So, uh, I mean, at least I got a couple calicos and some white fish, so I'm gonna go home and cook that up. And I'm probably gonna go up to the Redondo Beach Pier and have some lunch. 
So I'll see you guys on the pier. All right, well, it's a good day of fishing. Got some oysters up at the oyster bar up there. This little kid over there in that corner over there. All right, guys, well, I am home and I'm gonna cook up the calico bass. I caught three today. Unfortunately, I didn't get to um, show you guys the live catch of me catching the cog here. It's 18 inch calico bass. Put up a really good fight and now I'm going to make some spring rolls with this. So I'm actually gonna deep fry it. So I'm gonna show you guys the quick process of uh, deep frying the fish and gonna make a nice uh, couple of spring rolls. Family's coming over and I'm going to serve them the catch of the day. So I'm gonna have deep scores. All the way down so it hits the bone. For it, and then I'm gonna make a quick dry rub. Just three today: salt, garlic, and pepper. And I'm gonna make a three together. This is actually a uh, Mediterranean sea salt. I don't really like using like the regular iodized salt. I prefer this. Pepper. And then garlic powder. That's it. Mix that up. And what I like to do is kind of go in between the crevices. So I did scale the fish, cleaned it, took all the guts out. So it's good to go. Put something inside the cavity of the fish. All around. go. That's one done. Let's grab the second one. Man, I wish I could have, you know, film, filmed it live of me catching this fish. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately the, the battery of the GoPro died and I left my extra battery at home. But you can see the two sizes much bigger than the other one. I have to make sure that the fish is like completely dry before I put on the dry rub. Mm. 